Eraserhead is a 1977 surrealist film directed by David Lynch. Just like his other films, most people tend to walk away from Eraserhead with more questions than answers. One of my best friends has actually watched Eraserhead multiple times, and he's told me that he still doesn't know what the movie's about. So that's why I made this video. I may not have the answers for every surrealist element in the film, but hopefully I can shed some light onto the main story. In order to better understand Eraserhead, we need to first recognize that it is a surrealist film. Surrealist films exist in order to challenge the conventional ways stories are told in movies. It's not weirdness for the sake of being weird, but rather it's just a different approach to telling a story. In short, odd elements in surrealist films are usually there for a reason. So what's the reason for some of the weird things in Eraserhead? What kind of a story is the film trying to tell? The short answer is that this is the story of Henry Spencer, the film's main character. Henry Spencer is a socially awkward, anxiety-ridden character. The way he experiences everyday situations is different from somebody who isn't socially awkward and anxious. Eraserhead illustrates his anxieties not just in the way that he acts, but in the bizarre situations that he frequently finds himself in. As a man with social anxiety, I couldn't help but relate to one of the first few scenes in the film where Henry is meeting his girlfriend's parents for the first time. Meeting your partner's parents for the first time is stressful, and this scene illustrates it perfectly. Every exchange feels awkward. There are long pauses where characters are just staring at each other, not saying a word. The parents, as well as Henry's girlfriend, sometimes act in strange ways. <laughs> The combination of all of these things can make an audience member feel uncomfortable. Just like Henry. Henry feels uncomfortable while meeting his girlfriend's parents for the first time. Instead of portraying this in a literal way, the film portrays it in a way that instead makes you, the audience member, feel uncomfortable. The same way Henry does. The same thing can be said about Henry and his girlfriend's baby. You know, the one thing that everybody remembers who's seen this film, and for obvious reasons. There's a lot of people that think that babies are cute. But to some people, myself included, babies are not cute. I don't want to see your baby, I don't want to hold your baby. Get that crying goblin away from me. <coughs> to someone who isn't comfortable around babies, Babies can seem like alien creatures. That's why Henry's baby looks the way it does. It's not a literal representation of what the baby looks like, but rather it's a representation of how the baby makes him feel. All in all, Eraserhead is not a movie that should be taken literally. The film uses surrealism to illustrate Henry Spencer's anxieties. Eraserhead shows us the world, not the way it is, but the way that Henry sees it. 